Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Angela Brennan and today I'm bringing you Susan Tierney Coben's True the Arbor Garden Die Sets. I don't have all the dies. I have two dies. The first one is the Queen Anne's Lace and Ladybugs. You can see here I show you the four dies that come in this set and it indicates the number of times you need to die cut these dies. I decided to use Lindy's Gang Magical Shimmery Powders. I used the Victorian Bouquet set, which has got five different colors, and I sprinkle them onto watercolor paper and create some amazing shimmery backgrounds, after which I use to do some die cutting. The powder here does not really reflect the color that will result, but the top of the containers close, quite close to the color that you will get, but you get some amazing shimmery backgrounds. You can either spritz water, sprinkle the powder, or sprinkle the powder and spritz the water. i show you both ways. Here I spritz some water and then I'm sprinkling some of that amazing powder. You just need a little bit because it's so fine and the pigment is really strong. I use a fan brush to sprinkle the really fine powder. And then I spritz some more water to let it wick to so it spritz. The color just spritz. You just need a little bit of the powder and then the color spritz. I end up doing quite a few panels. Here I'm spreading it with a flat brush so I want the panel to be full. Now I shouldn't have spread it so much because I don't want it to be e even colour. I want some different gradations of colour. I want some, some blotches of colour. So when I do my die cutting, the leaves and the foliage will have some natural... You don't see leaves with all the same colour. So I'm just trying to <laughs> imitate nature by creating some panels that have some amazing gradation of colours. And I take another watercolor paper and just sop up all the balance, water, uh, the color, because it's all shimmery, shimmery powder pa um, color. And I don't want to waste it because you get, when it dries, you will see that beautiful shimmer. And when you die cut with it and you put it onto your card, it's really, really pretty. So I use the Victorian bouquet for this set. And I also introduce a different set, a couple of colors from autumn leaves when I do the delphinium die set similar concept it indicates on the dies the number of times you die cut it which is really helpful here i show you every single color that i do use in the victorian bouquet so i'm doing here by just sprinkling the powder and then i'm putting water spritzing water on it you can do it either way you still get that beautiful like sometimes i need to stop when there's just enough color but i end up putting quite a lot of color the next time I use it, I'll probably use less color so I can get some light and dark in each of the panels. But I'm really happy how the cards I used from these panels turned out. Do hang on till the end of the video where you'll see my completed cards and the close-up pictures of all of them as well. I do enjoy using these Lindy Skank magical shimmers to create panels for die cutting. I think it's just really beautiful. Beware, it does stain your fingers and it can stain your clothes. So I should really use gloves when I do this so it doesn't stain my fingers that much. But I'm not really fast. So I do get right in there with my fingers and spread the colors and start waiting for the brush. And I do use my heat tool to dry the colors up quite um, quickly because I want to move on to the next color. So you got the canna lily burnt orange, which is really pretty. And then you got the hydrangea blue, which I absolutely adore. The colors are really, really similar to what's on the cap on the containers. And here's a sweet violet purple teal. And the Lucky Shamrock Green, which I use for the foliage for the Queen Anne's Lace uh, die set. I really hope you enjoy the video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. And when you do subscribe, remember to press that notification bell so you're alerted when a new video is uploaded. The next set I do is the Delphinium set. And I die cut it with these panels as well. And it's... It's not the dies that I normally do cards with. It's a little bit time consuming, but I absolutely adore the outcome of these cards. It's a little bit like my stitching die, uh, dies when I do it. It takes a lot of time, but I really adore the outcome. So, you know, some cards are really great to give to that someone special. And here I've die cut all of the four dies with the panels that I use the Lindy Skang Shimmery Magicals and I'm going to be die cutting all of them as suggested by the numbers in the on the die. So what I'm doing here is I'm using a little ball tool I've had ages and a foam pad 
um, to create a bit of dimension to the foliage. Now, I don't know, this is, I've had these tools in my craft stash for ages, but Susan Tierney Corbin has got a really good set, which I'll link in my description below, that if you're serious about doing these kind of cards, you should get the set. So you've got all the tools to create dimension and create a natural looking flower. So Queen Anne's lace is generally white. So I start off by doing blue because I didn't realize that. And then I, I decide to Google and see what the color is. It's white. So I do make a white, white version of this uh, flower cluster as well. And you'll see that later on in the video. Do stay on till the end so you can see how I compile the delphinium as well. I really appreciate you step, stopping by and hope you've been inspired. Happy crafting and do take care.